Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today I'm going to be showing you around this absolutely beautiful Ducati ST4S. Um, you probably already know what you're looking at to be honest if you're looking at one of these but the ST stands for Sports Touring. Um, it's probably one of the forgotten Ducatis. Um, I really like these. Uh, the ST4 is derived from the um, iconic V-twin, 90 degree V-twin engine from the uh, 916. Uh, it was a, a really great period of time for Ducati. They were producing some really fantastic bikes and whilst the Monster probably was the most popular bike at the time, uh, the ST4 was a really great sports tourer. This particular one uh, is really well preserved. It's a 2001 bike um, that's covered less than 15,000 miles from new. It's in really, really nice condition and it's fantastic to see one um, in such good condition, I have to say. Um, I'm a big fan of the Ducati dry clutch sound. It's not for everyone, I'm sure, but uh, this is a fantastic engine from a, a really great era of Ducati bikes. So to give you a bit of a tour around, 17-inch um, Marchesini wheels, um, as you'd expect for any performance Ducati. Um, it's paired with non-radial Brembo brakes, which are really, really powerful. It's got a really good front end on this bike. Uh, this particular one has been upgraded to have braided lines, which is a modification that pretty much every bike should have. And it's got an extended carbon fiber uh, front mudguard as well. Um, brakes, obviously, as you can see, the discs are supplied by Brembo um, and the forks are Olin's. So the main difference between the standard ST4 and the ST4S, which this is, um, is better suspension uh, and brakes. So Olin's uh, front and rear. Uh, I'll show you the rear shock in just a second um, and a couple of other minor tweaks. The bike's finished uh, in a satin grey. Um, cosmetically, the bike is very clean and tidy for its age, um, but you are going to find some signs of wear and tear. It's a 20-year-old bike, um, and I'll try my best to point those out as you go, but overall, this bike is very clean, very original. It's not been messed about with. Um, it's been well-loved and looked after. So there's a few little marks on this side that I'll point out. So there's a little bit of wear on the paint there. You can see just where the, um, the braided line is rubbed on the paint, there is a tiny little crack, hairline crack, just here. Uh, which is non-structural, just purely cosmetic, um, which is unfortunate, but uh, you can see given the thickness of that particular part of the panel, why that would happen. The rest of the panels on this side are in really nice condition. No major marks, scratches, dings or dents, no signs that the bike has ever been down the road. Really nice and clean and tidy. Towards the back, um, you can see we've got the Olin shock. That is a uh, standard unit with a remote adjuster. So if you're taking luggage and a pillion regularly, you can up the preload quite easily, which is a modification, ironically, that um, even newer bikes don't always tend to have. It's got the standard exhaust system. It's not been messed around with, which is really nice. One of the reasons why um, you know, we would sell a bike like this is because we like originality. It's got the center stand, which it needs for chain maintenance. That's quite an easy thing to do from home. And you can see it's even got the color-coded Ducati luggage, uh, which would have been available with a bike from standard. So it's, you know, for a, a 20 odd year old bike, it's, it's really nice, I have to say. Riding position is really comfortable. So you've got this dual pillion seat as you get with a lot of sports tourers now, nice and comfortable with a rear mounted uh, pillion grab rail. So your pillion will thank you for that. You could uh, fit a top box to this if you really wanted to, uh, but the panniers on this are quite deep. So um, perhaps you, you wouldn't need to bother with that. The bars are set slightly higher than the yokes. So it does tend to give you a more upright back position despite its sort of sporty looks and uh, sporty heritage. The bike's been fitted with aftermarket adjustable levers. These are full length, not shorties, so um, that's quite nice. And they're a decent quality uh, as well, well fitted. So um, that would probably suit most people. And it's been fitted with an aftermarket screen, as you can see, which is slightly tinted, um, but it's a decent quality item. Uh, so I wouldn't have too many issues with that. <clears throat> On this side, very much the same. As you can see, very clean and tidy. Um, it's not been messed around with. There's a few carbon fibre bits towards the back, so you can see the sprocket cover is carbon, the hugger is carbon fibre as well. So there's a few nice little modifications, quite subtle, um, but uh, but yeah, nice things to have. Recent chain and sprockets, you can see it's got a, a gold chain, uh, X-ring chain there. Um, it's been well loved and looked after this. The, the previous owners had it for quite some time. Uh, it was his pride and joy. Um, 
and that really sort of comes across in the condition of the bike. There's a small 12 volt socket just underneath there. That's an aftermarket item. So if you were to plug heated um, clothing in and stuff like that, uh, you could do that in there. That's pre-installed. The bike comes with quite a bit of service history and some receipts. Um, obviously it's quite an old bike. It will receive an annual service before it goes out, but you can see it's been looked after. I mean, just look at the color of the clutch brake and brake fluid up here. Uh, you can see that's done, been done very recently, um, clearly by someone who loves their bike and looks after their bike. So dash wise, we're mostly analog, um, just when we were starting to get into digital dashes. Um, obviously you've got your speedo here, kilometers and miles. So if you were to go on the continent, you're covered. Um, we've obviously got our rev counter on the right hand side here. Uh, we've got a fuel gauge and some other information, temperatures, stuff like that. Proper old school, we'll just give her a little bit of choke just to get her going. Although, probably won't need it, let's have a look. Just uh, pulling the clutch in there a few times so you could hear that uh, dry clutch sound that uh, sort of from my era, I'm so familiar with the sound of the sort of bag and nails clutch from the 916s. I really like it. I'm sure it's not for everyone, but uh, I think it's really, really cool. Um, so this bike's going to come with a three month warranty. It will come with free delivery within England and Wales. Uh, we can deliver to Scotland for a small charge. Uh, we offer all the usual dealer trimmings, finance, part exchange, etc. If it's something you're interested in or if you've got any general questions, uh, please feel free to reach out. We've got WhatsApp, live chat, all the socials. Pick up the phone and ask us any questions that you got or feel free to drop in for a coffee and a chat and you can try the bike on for size. That's it from me. Thanks for watching and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.